item is related to uh, Navy Air Force Base. And that, we've touched on a couple of different areas. You don't have any information uh, behind that other than just the place to make some notes. But there are some things I'd like to share with you. You've heard uh, Randy mention this morning before. You heard us say something about that uh, yesterday. Um, and you've already heard the chairman talk about the impact of um, the lack of broadband service uh, for the and their concern. There are three areas that uh, I wanted to make you aware of that came out of the P4 initiative. And the P4 initiative, the chairman's already described, is a public-private partnership um, that has been encouraged by the Department of Defense and the Air Force to look at areas of um, improvement by a, an agreement that for a particular service that would be public, private, uh, or uh, some form of that. There are three areas that we were involved in. Uh, one is uh, dealing with making uh, graphic design accessible to the public. That has uh, already uh, begun to take place. Uh, we are working with them, um, with Moody, to uh, help improve the accessibility there. Initially, there was a bit of, uh, I guess, uh, over-enthusiasm for it by uh, going ahead and putting in the gate. Speed yeah, speed limit and some other signs and a welcome center, as they put it, which I thought was a guard shack, but be that as it may. <laughs> so those are being uh, addressed now, and that should not impede the flow of traffic, but should enhance what uh, Grassy Pond is trying to do there. And obviously, the fact that the public is now eligible to use that, not just military retirees or current military um, staff, and, and that's an uh, improvement. Is that a fee, fee in space? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and that's part of where the money that funds this is different than the pot that does something else. And so it was, it's necessary that the fee does. Uh, the, the second thing is um, previous commissions, y'all will call uh, earmark monies through contingency for the library. Uh, and the library system was to <coughs> over and uh, work with new to provide that library service. And there was some, most of y'all remember through that budget process uh, discussion about that. Uh, it has not taken place yet. Um, the last communication we had, and as a matter of fact, I think we had a people meeting yesterday. Or yes, this is yesterday. yesterday. So, so staff, I, I, I had some staff there from the utilities that I'll mention next, but uh, the new librarian has been involved with the new staff. Some of the same personnel that's responsible for the Grassy Pond project from the uh, are also involved in the library uh, project, and we have discussed both of those uh, with them. And so they are aware that this transition is uh, scheduled to take place. The timing was off a little bit because of approval of somebody from some committee, some acronym. And the military. So um, that should be taken by sure. The third and the most um, probably important of the three is the uh, agreement between Lambs County and New Year Force Space for the uh, sewage treatment that uh, we have worked with them for eight years, maybe at least in discussing this, and uh, Lowndes County was active in providing the uh, sewer capacity to Moody, um, not just for that, but for the development to take place along that corridor, as far as 
And uh, that has become probably, if not the cornerstone, uh, one of them for this entire people initiative from the Moody Air Base. Because as you heard Randy say this morning, uh, what we anticipated doing with the uh, EMS service was not able to take place. Another service with uh, waste collection was not able to take place. Uh, and what that means is that uh, previously there had been federal requirements that required payment. If you went on the provided a service on the base, you had to pay federal rates. If you collected the solid waste there, or, I mean, uh, uh, wastes. Yes, you had to pay the, those federal rates. Uh, so that is, and as other items and the, the competitive nature of it, the bid nature of it, so forth, were all restricted to a successful public-private partnership. Um, those were disbanded, ignored, overwritten, etc., to the point where they encouraged us. Now we will begin to do that. Uh, it is anticipated that we will get a go-ahead for this project of in April to begin perhaps in October. So we will step in now and still have to keep those numbers and those monies available. We anticipate it being in this budget year, it looks like it will be the next budget year, but that is an uh, ongoing problem. <coughs> well, I, 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 let me say this. I, I think that the relationship between any local government, any community, and the Department of Defense, um, it can sometimes most always be very, very challenging just because of the, 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 the regulations tied in with, with partners and management. But I do believe, and I want to again commend the county and Mr. Pritchard and, and Fort Mike Allen who have gone and worked on this other part, but others as well, of their efforts and their diligence uh, to work with the folks out at Moody Air Force Base again to create a partnership. Um, and it's not as much as anything as creating a partnership, which is positive when you can do that, but again, it's it's the positive relationships that are continually developed with the personnel out there at Moody and the relationship that this community has with Moody Air Force Base, which we know is extremely, extremely important for this community. Somewhere between six and seven thousand um, citizens out there. Um, and, and so it's huge at the economic impact into this community as far as what it does. So, you know, we've got to, and we have a responsibility to continue to do the things that are positive issues in that relationship with Moody Air Force Base and this community. Um, we don't want to get there, I don't specifically get there at the end of the day and if, if decisions are having to be made about moving and the future of moving and whether or not it's going to remain open, I don't want one of the front page issues being, Moody says, we're closing because we can't get cooperation between our community leaders. Uh, there's no need to go in there. It's a great relationship. It has been a great relationship. And again, I, I, Mr. Pritchard, I thank you and I thank your staff and all for your efforts. I know sometimes it's as frustrating as it can be. Uh, still, sometimes out of frustration comes good things. And I do believe that eventually this thing, if, we, if it gets pulled together with this wastewater uh, plan, will be a positive thing. But that's the whole purpose of P4, is that both, it's a win-win situation for both the local, local communities and for the uh, Department of Defense as well. And uh, they make that very adamant. It says if it's not good for you, well, let's not do it. And if it's not good for us, we're not going to do it. Um, and, and so, uh, fortunately, as Mr. Pritchard says, the, this wastewater, us taking it over Lounge County, it's very positive and it is the cornerstone. Uh, I felt 
just like, for example, with the grassy pond. I mean, we all know in our community that we've got a tremendous amount of a shortage of, of recreation, if you want to call it that, from accessibility to lakes, ponds, rivers, and those sort of things. We're limited. Um, Mark, when you and I were little boys, you could hit the river just about any bend you wanted to get to. You can't do that. You know, there, there's still some accessibility, but it's very, very limited. That it goes back to liabilities and a lot of different things for people not wanting to other people on the property. Same way with lakes and those sort of things. Very limited accessibility. So I, I was very pleased when Moody was willing to discuss opening up Grassy Pond, which had been basically private for military personnel and, and, and those dependents. Now, an average citizen can go out there and pay the fee and go out there and spend a day on Grassy Pond and the pavilion and all the stuff that it has to offer. So it gives, it gives our community another resource for our citizens to use. So there's a lot of good positive things that come out of it. We need to, the, the takeaway from this is that I'm going to still be a very strong advocate and feel strong about the, the county support, the county involvement, my personal involvement with the folks out at Moody Air Force Base because I think it is extremely important, not only for them, but for this community. The last item I did, which is in the fourth 